point in this area where it's already too small. <laughs> I've got a building down in the yard I would love to turn into some type of shop, but it needs electricity, it needs drywall, it needs insulation. It's just a whole nother project I don't feel like doing right now. I got tired of storing my bikes in the car, so I got this outside rack. The car's a tiny bit too tall. I've got to find a stool, that's for sure. Getting the bike off. Getting the bike off a lot easier. Other car. Getting the bike off a lot easier than putting it on. I seriously think I'm gonna have to get a stool to where I can get it on and off so much easier. So normally on these rides, I just take my GoPro. Today I was given, or I'll let borrow a GoPro 5. I have a four. So this is what I'll be using mainly today, but I added the regular camera for the back view. So if anybody hits me, I can see it coming I mean, in, in the court case. I don't know what today's goal is, I'm thinking another 20, maybe a little more. I'm just afraid I'm going to freeze because right now I'm cold. But once I get moving, it'll be colder and I'll be fine. Okay, so currently I am 35 minutes in to make it killer time, and I am almost nine miles in. Normally at 30 minutes, I'd be around five minutes in. I feel good, my legs are tired. This bike is a world of difference from the gravel bike. It's lighter, it's, it cuts through the wind better. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love my new gravel bike. You can't go wrong with a specialized road bike. What a ride. That was a great ride. So here we are back in the bike shop, um, or bike in, trying to, trying to vlog right now, okay? Sorry. So here we are back in the shop, the, the, the dugout of my basement. I mean, this is where I keep the bikes. I wanted to take a quick moment to talk about pedals. Obviously I am new at cycling. Uh, I've been, I've had my mountain bike for almost a little over a year. I got into road biking a little bit after that. And I've had to figure this stuff out on my own. Mainly I've watched YouTube videos, stuff like that, but I thought maybe since, you know, we're talking, we're hanging out, getting some new people from cycling, if you're new at cycling, let me help you out with some things that I have figured out. One thing you may remember me complaining about in previous videos is my feet, uh, because my toes have been going numb and it's been causing my feet to hurt like crazy. The last ride I did was an hour and... Come on, you can think of this. Wasn't that long? How long was the ride? Come on, think. Just think a little bit. Think. You can do this. Hour and something. Hour and, hour and, hour and a half. 30 some minutes, something like that, 20 miles. And the last five minutes, my feet started going to sleep. Just a tiny bit. No pain, anything like that. And that's because when I went to the actual bicycle company, they set up my cleats on my shoes. These are my normal riding shoes. They are just cheap. I mean, I really don't know how much these would have cost me. I bought them used. I don't even know what brand they are. 
Surfas. They're just cheap. Not even the best cycling shoes. They're just regular road cycling shoes. Hold on, I need a beer. Now, personally, I am a Shimano fan. Uh, they're not a sponsor. If they wanted to be, I would totally let them. I just like their stuff. I mean, it works. I mean, <laughs> obviously there's a box that says Shimano, but look at my bikes. Road bike, Shimano Claris. Mountain bike, Shimano Dora. Gravel bike, Shimano Sora. That sounded cool. They've been around forever and they know what they do. So I would suggest Shimano pedals. Just, I'm just telling you now. These are Shimano road pedals. I don't even know what the model is on these. PDR 540s. These come, I think these are like $40. This is a typical, you can't see that at all. Zoom, zoom this way. This is a typical style road bike pedal. It's, it's light and they're made to work with why are you focused in the background? Be focused on me. It's made to work with this style cleat. Uh, it just simply locks in. And then if, if you're riding, you can you can clip in a lot easier than, than that. Uh, the, the thing is with these, as you can see on the sides, I have fallen several times because when you ride clipped into your bike, if you don't get your feet down fast enough when you're stopping, you will fall. And if you're not careful, you will fall on a sweet little old lady and possibly crush her. Still feel terrible about that. So I've been, I've been riding clipped in for the last year. I've fallen, I've got my three falls out. Hopefully I won't fall anymore. Uh, with the mountain bike, I ride flats. And with my gravel bike, I'm going to uh, SPD clipless. Which it, it's weird, they call them clipless even though you clip in. It's because you don't have toe clips. Like back in the day, you, you had these things that you slid into your, your shoe and that would hold your foot on the pedal. That's why they're called clipless because you don't have those anymore. That box just fell. Let me explain to you the different types of pedals real quick. Isn't this just a nifty little display I made up here for you? So uh, there is, as far as my knowledge goes, there's only really like three types of pedals. You've got flats, which have been around forever, which you can ride with any type of shoe. You've got road cleats. I can't remember what this style is called. Son of a... And then you've got SPD style cleats, which is more... You find these more on mountain bikes and the gravel bikes now. Each type works its own purpose. Uh, obviously, the clipless road style, you can only ride with wearing these shoes. These are traditional mountain bike flats. These pedals cost about $50 for a set. You don't have to pay like individually. And they're made to go with flat shoes, which is any type of shoe. My only peeve about these is uh, this little hump right here. I don't know if you can if you can see that. That little hump hurts my feet. The SPD style, this is actually a pretty cool pedal I'll tell you about in a second, but SPD has a different type of cleat. Right there. A little, little tiny thing. And it actually locks in so much easier than a traditional road cleat. Here's a quick size comparison. Road cleat, SPD. They're, I mean, they're, they're similar in size, but normally an SPD pedal would only be this round piece, not this. Let me explain this to you. Again, let me say this one more time. I'm not sponsored by Shimano. I'm just a, a Shimano buff. I, I, I love Shimano. So this type of pedal is very special. This is a Shimano PDEH 500 made in Malaysia. I got these for my my gravel bike. The advantages of being clipped in on a road bike, gravel bike, anything is you get more power when you're pedaling. A clipped pedal or clipless pedal, sorry, uh, gives you power. You're pushing down. It gives you power. You can pull back. You're still locked in and pulling up. You have power. 360 degrees of power. Whereas with a flat pedal, if you try to do that, you have power going down and then pulling up. Nothing. You're relying on the other, the other foot. But the disadvantage for clipless is if you don't unclip, you fall down. That's why on mountain bikes, you shouldn't be clipped in. Some people do. I don't know why. The advantage to this type of pedal, like I was wanting to show you, that I'm taking forever to do, is that you can ride both your clipless shoe, you can ride clipped in to where you have 360 degrees of power, or say you're on a gravel road, it's loose, you cannot be clipped in, you can still ride 
on this type of pedal. I'm pretty excited about that one. Needless to say, I need to install it on the gravel bike. I hope, I hope all that made sense. Which type of clipless is right for you is completely up to you. It's your choice for road riding. I definitely would go with a road style cleat, even though some people love SPD cleats. It's completely, it's everybody's own choice. I think what I want to do, maybe not this video, but like next week do a video on what is easier to clip in and ride. So is a road pedal or a road clipless pedal is it easier than an SPD clipless pedal versus the flats? I mean, obviously the flat is going to be the easiest, but like I'll do a little time trial something. I'll figure all that out. What type of pedal do you use? Leave a comment down below. Tell me um, whatever I just asked. I don't even remember what I just. What type of pedal do you use? Do you even ride a bike? Are you interested in cycling at all? That is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Oh, update on miles. For the 200 mile goal for this month, I am 84 miles in. I have 116 miles to go. I just did all that math in my head. That was impressive. I can do math. Told you I wasn't a dumb <laughs> dad. <laughs> in his defense, he did call me a smart <laughs> later on. Today is Tuesday, so that means tomorrow I will be going for another ride. Quick update on the schedule. So I was, was doing Monday and Friday, uh, and then when I got laid off, if you haven't heard any of that crap, you can go back there. I, I, I lost my job. Thanks, Corona. I was doing daily. We were keeping busy. We kind of slacked off on keeping busy. So I think I'm going to go three days a week again. So it'll be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There'll be videos out. And then every Wednesday at 9 p.m. We'll be doing Wednesday Night Live. I need to see if I can get like a guest on there. All right, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like button, subscribe, comment. What kind of pedals do you use? That's it. Goodbye. Avita Sane. So long, farewell, a Vita saying adieu. Adieu, adieu to you and you and you. I can't go any further.